What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video and today I'm excited to show you guys a review and on feet of the Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toe. So I actually don't know the official release date of the Air Jordan 1 Black Toe. However, uh, a bunch of stores by me started to get them in around the end of March slash early April. So if you guys are looking to pick these up, definitely check out your local stores. I don't know if it had a hard release date, but it's not too crazy of a shoe. So I think it just kind of went on the shelf when stores received it. But nonetheless, it did release kind of the end of March, early April for a retail price of $90. And now this is a great shoe for the summer that I'm excited to get into to review and on feet for you guys. So real quick, before we do start the video, I want to say make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post new videos. I pick up new shoes all the time and I make review and on feet videos for everything that I pick up. So you will not want to miss out on some of those videos coming up soon. But beyond that, let's get right into the review of the Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toe. And now getting into the shoe, it looks like it's pretty decent quality. You guys can see that there's a white tumbled leather across the mid panels and on the toe, some nubuck running around in the black, and then some red leather on the back of the shoe. And you have, of course, the white midsole and red outsole. So they look very clean and the materials look pretty solid for a $90 shoe. So I can't complain too much about it. I think it looks good so far. Then moving to the front of the shoes on the toe box, you can really see that tumbled leather right there. And then you can see the black laces with 23 on the, or on the uh, lace tab in red and black. And you have a jump man on the tongue. Now here is the other shoe to show just the same. You guys can see all the same colors and materials all the way around. Then on the back, it is your typical Jordan 1. However, this being a low, it is a bit more low cut and you guys can see the Air Jordan Wings logo printed on the back. So that does not appear on the highs. However, it is on this pair of lows. You can see the midsole and outsole on the back as well. Then moving inside the shoes, you guys can see there is a black insole with a red Jumpman on both shoes. And then now if we take a look at the size tag, this is actually really cool. So this is the first new size tag that I think I've seen on a Jordan shoe. But you guys can see this is a completely redesigned uh, er, size tag and it has a QR code on it. And it should work if you guys are watching this on a computer, but if you use your phone and scan that QR code, it actually takes you to the sneakers app. So that is a really cool feature that I'm assuming Jordan is going to start implementing into other shoes. However, this is the first time I've seen it. So let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen this on other shoes or what you think of this idea, but I think it's pretty cool. Then on the insides of the shoe, it is the same all around. Patterns are continuing along with the colors. And then last but not least, you guys have your Air Jordan 1 outsole in red. All right, and now that we took a look at the shoes, I'm gonna get them laced up and show you guys what they look like on feet.
And now there we have it. That wraps up the review of the Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toe. So now these shoes are pretty solid. I really can't complain about them. Like they're, uh, they're a great shoe. For $90, I think it's a great price point. I think they look good. They look clean. For the summer, you know, I don't see any problems with it. I think an Air Jordan 1 Low is very cool. If you guys have watched videos on my channel before, you guys know I love Air Jordan 1s. This is my first pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows in a while, in years probably. But nonetheless, I think it looks pretty solid. The black toe colorway is very cool. So I don't really have any complaints. Like I said, for $90, I think it's a great price point. It's definitely one of the you know, cheaper shoes I've reviewed on my channel here. So that's definitely a plus. So if you guys are looking to pick this up, definitely head to your local Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action. Uh, don't know if Finish Lines are getting these, but at least those three stores, they're the largest chains across the United States out of those stores. So definitely check those out if you're looking to pick these up. But nonetheless, I think that kind of wraps up the review. So definitely drop me a like if you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button below if you guys are not subscribed to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next video.